Get it? Because we have hair. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, if you don't know, my name's Logan Mahone, and I'm the mastermind of the world's greatest April Fool's prank. It all started one day, when I was just thinking, I have Julian Vasquez's number, because he posted it on, face he posted it on Facebook. And, um, it was a bad mistake to do that. <laughs> so, we had Lucy Steele... Call him and pretend oh, to oh, be. Hey, oh, is that, is that oh, Lucy oh, Steele? Lucy Steele. Lucy Steele. Lucy Steele. Hi, Lucy. Hi, Lucy. Hey, Lucy. Hi. You want to say anything? Uh, no. <laughs> Video okay. to follow. Well, we'll show you that awesome phone call. Hi, is this Julian Vasquez? Yeah. Oh, okay, good. Um, this is Lucy Romberg from Tempest Freerunning, and we're searching for a freerunning extra for a commercial we're filming in Miami. Um, it's for Old Spice, and we were just wondering if you wanted to, uh, like to help out. So, uh... Yeah, that's fine. Oh, yeah, we can, uh, get a town car to Miami, and I think we can pay for all your expenses, so, like... Okay, yeah, that's fine. All right, thanks. Uh, we don't have like a lot of information right now, but it should be like towards the end of the month. So, could I get your email? Um, yes, Flicker954 at AOL.com. Sorry, what is it? Flicker954, T-R-I-C-K-E-R. 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 Okay. At AOL.com. At AOL? Yep. Okay, thanks. Well, I will email you sometime later this week. Awesome. Talk to you later. Bye. <laughs> okay, now we're going for the <laughs> And then, why not continue it? He, he's already gone and beat the commercial. I mean, we already invited him. We got his email and everything. So, why not make a fake Lucy Steele email? <laughs> You're genius. <laughs> I then proceeded to tell him all the dumbest stuff I could ever imagine. <laughs> and it was amazing. Because I started, I went on Google and found a producing studio, just random, and just gave him the address for that, and told him that he was going to be filming an Old Spice commercial for that. And it was going to be paying him $2,000. We talked about that for a while, and we arranged a bunch of stuff. Then we got to the point where $2,000, and it was going to be in every single preview before Clash of the Titans, six hours after it was <laughs> filmed. <laughs> Clash of the Titans comes out tomorrow, kids. <laughs> and then the next morning, April Fool's Day, I had to get up at four o'clock to make sure I was going to get this call. <laughs> When I got the call, wondering why the door was locked and no one was answering the intercom, I then proceeded to answer the call with a recording of Iceman. That freaked him out. <laughs> and he hung up. And then, about a little while after that, he, he texted me, and his dad was kind of pissed. He was actually very, very pissed. He calls me some very rude names. I didn't appreciate it much. <laughs> Oh and then he tried to prank me back, saying that his dad was suing me. That was a big fail. <laughs> Half hour after he goes and finds out it's an April Fool's prank, he, he lives 45 minutes from the studio that he was at. So half hour afterwards, he's not even home yet. He tells me that his dad's lawyer has already contacted Team Tempest's manager and already arranged a court date to sue me, the studio that had nothing to do with it. <laughs> I wish I got and Team Tempest. And, yeah, that was very nice. But, that's how my April Fool's Day went. So, yeah. <laughs> Top that, someone. <laughs> <laughs> Top that. And uh, if you guys come down in the jam, you can stay at Logan's house. Yeah! Oh. Oh. <laughs> Suck on that, Julian! <laughs> <laughs>